what's happening on YouTube and thank you guys for tuning in. In today's video, I wanted to do a review of the Body Glove Performer 11. This is an 11 foot long pedal board available at Costco for only $3.99 right now. I think normally it's on, I think normally it's about $4.99. It's on sale right now. This is an inflatable pedal board. So with pedal boards, you have two types. You have hard boards, uh, which are the boards that you're probably more familiar with, the ones you see on the roof of people's cars. And then you have inflatables. Um, inflatables are just as they sound, they inflate, they pump up. So everything you need here fits in this little backpack. The only other item that you should probably buy is a life jacket if you don't already have one. Costco actually has, uh, has some great deals on life jackets, like stylish ones that are very breathable. I think I picked mine up for about 39 bucks. It zips up and buckles up. That's probably the only item that you need to buy besides this. And uh, the only additional item you might want to buy is a infl uh, an electric inflatable pump because this thing is a little bit tough to pump up. The only really complaint I've heard about these boards is that the pumps are kind of cheap and I've already kind of experienced that. I got this about a month ago. I've taken it out probably six or eight times thus far. And the pump, when I pump it, uh, the valve is wanting to um, come undone. So one of the, the improvements I'll probably do or one of the items I'll probably buy is a better quality pump and probably uh, uh, an electric pump. So uh, overall, these things have been getting really, really good reviews online. When I initially bought mine, I didn't see a lot of reviews of them. I didn't see a lot of people talking about them. Uh, but more recently, they seem to have gained in popularity. Uh, if you guys go on Reddit, the, uh, I believe it's uh, r backslash sup or you know, stand up paddleboard that forum everyone's all about these things now so again everything you need is going to fit in here it is a backpack so it slings right on your back i've taken this thing to uh, montrose beach in chicago i had to park about a half mile away walked with this thing right on my back clips over your chest so it's easy to carry uh, another place i go grand Mere state park in stevensville michigan it's about i don't know maybe a half mile hike through the woods and then another quarter mile over sand dunes had no problem hiking this thing out. I've also taken it to Illinois State Beach, the DuPage River, and a couple other Chicago beaches as well. Um, and as you can see here, you know, everything fits right on your back. So let's open it up here, and I'll show you guys what the process is like to inflate it as well as deflate it. So it comes with these little, they look like uh, kids' arm floaties. They're meant to kind of protect your... Uh, your fins down there. These uh, these are not removable fins, they're permanent fins. Let's get everything out of here. So here we have the paddle board. I have my leash already attached. We also have a, a little buckle or strap that helps keep everything together to get into the backpack here. We also have a three, three piece paddle. Uh, it does have foam inside so it will float. All you gotta do I take this to the beach a lot, so you may want to clean the sand out. I was having problems with uh, with it not wanting to piece together, but we should be good to go here. That piece snaps in. Oh, see, we're having some issues there too. This piece snaps in and we have the paddle assembled. A good rule of thumb for how tall you want your paddle. Uh, this is a little bit high for me. I don't even know if you guys can see at the top of my hand, but basically extend your arm upwards at almost straight up, a little bit of a bend in your elbow, and that's about the height you want your paddle. So the paddle goes together just like that. Next thing we're gonna do is roll out the board. Got a little bumper fin here. I don't know if you guys can see this. We got a little bumper fin, so if you take it in rivers, this thing is very, very firm. And that was one of the things I was hes hesitant to buy an inflatable board. I kind of pictured it like being standing on an inflatable raft, not a lot of stability. Uh, well, there is probably a little bit of sacrifice in not tracking as well through the water, not turning quite as good, um, and a little bit less stable uh, for me. The, uh, the compromise between making it more portable and easy to store at home versus the little bit of added performance from a hard board. Uh, you know, I'm really, really happy with my purchase. Did come with a leash. The leash attaches right to the back here. Uh, what's 
you fill it right here. What's kind of cool, this body glove thing right here, not only does it act as a handle, but it also rolls, rolls out and you can fit a water bottle in there. Um, and again, I don't know how well you can see the front, uh, but we do have the tie downs if you wanted to get a dry bag or, or store some stuff in there. I also use it to tuck my paddle under there uh, if I'm jumping off to go for a swim so the paddle doesn't go away. Uh, we also have an air pump right here. One kind of cool thing about the air pump, it's got a pressure gauge. So uh, once you're in that green area, uh, which I believe is 13 to 15 PSI, uh, you're good to go. And then uh, right here, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but we have uh, a one and a two. Now the two is gonna pump on your upstroke and your downstroke. The one is only gonna pump on the downstroke. Now this piece here, this is gonna attach right here. Now this is what's been giving me problems. I've always noticed that the thread didn't seem that great. And when I turn it on, once it starts getting a, quite a bit of pressure in the board, this thing has the tendency to wanna to pop open there. Um, this here is called the Boston valve. If you do wind up buying an electric pump, uh, make sure that it will fit. Uh, I'm not really sure what type of thread this is, but make sure it'll fit that and or make sure you have an attachment for or a converter for a Boston valve. This is what's gonna be needed to inflate the board. And one of the nice things about this, you're always gonna wanna make sure the button is up. There's a little button inside here. Press it before you start filling to make sure it's up because if it's down, once you take the pump off, it's gonna start spewing out air and you're gonna have another 50 pumps to get it back. Uh, so I just checked, I made sure this was here. We're just gonna put that in and turn it to the right. Now one kind of weird thing, because of the way this pump is kind of situated, it does sometimes have the tendency to wanna to pop out. And we're gonna put it on setting number two. And we'll show you guys how long this takes to pump. It's gonna be a little bit here. A lot of people on YouTube say this takes them like two or three minutes. Be prepared to spend, if you're in shape and going pretty quick, about 10 minutes. Um, if you're kind of going slow, about 15 minutes. But as you can see, it's kind of already starting to take shape. And you know, I'm not gonna make you guys sit here for this whole thing, but once it starts to take shape, what I normally do is switch it back to number one. And pump that way. Once the thing's fully inflated, um, and let me bring you guys over here just so you can kind of get a view of, of kind of how big this is. Even though it, it, I know it's 11 feet, it's called the Performer 11. I was kind of surprised by how long it was as well as how wide it was. I set this thing up in my living room upon initially getting it, and it literally took up my whole living room. Now, like I said, I'm not going to make you guys sit through this whole thing, so we're going to pretend that it's time to take it down. Okay, and after you fill it up, you put the cap on. After you've been out on the water for the day, you take this off, press the air release. Now, normally you'll hear like a big hiss because you have 15 pounds of pressure squirting on out of here. Now we don't have a ton of air in here right now, um, but basically what I do is start at the front of the board and then just slowly roll, squeezing out all the air. One other thing, whenever I get this home, I like to try to hose it off um, and let it dry out. Well, I don't, I don't want mold or mustiness kind of getting in here. And one nice thing about having these portable boards, you know, not only do you not have to worry about getting a roof rack, this will fit, you know, in the back seat or the trunk of any economy car. Uh, in addition to not having to get a roof rack, I personally have kind of a smaller house, don't have a ton of room to store stuff. 
Uh, so, you know, for storage, you can literally just throw the thing in a closet, throw it under a bed. Once we have all the air out, I normally like to put the cap back in. I had forgotten to take the leash off, but I normally take the leash off as well. Put my floaties over the fins to protect them. This one's kind of leaking. I have to get a new one. Next, we're going to take our strap here. Tighten it up. Take our paddle apart. I normally put the paddle in first. Put the pump in. Throw our leash in there. Normally I'll roll it up a little bit tighter. I'm being a little bit lazy right now. When our day at the beach is over, we just pack it up and we're good to go. So, like I said, for $3.99, you really can't beat this. I've been shopping for paddle boards for a while. I was seeing everything $700, $800, $1,000, $1,200, $1,400, $1,600. Uh, the inflatables seem to be even more expensive. Uh, Costco's got some great deals on both hardboards and inflatables. Um, there's probably some better quality boards out there. I've heard some people say go for an inflatable with 20 PSI, but... For the price, $3.99 for this thing, you really can't beat it. It comes with everything you need. Great performance for what it is and for the price. Um, I may wind up getting an iRock or getting a hardboard down the road, but this thing should last me for a couple of years, and when I eventually do upgrade, this will be a great board to bring out to the water for a, for a friend or somebody else to use. So if you guys have any questions about this board, how it works, what I think of it, anything like that, Feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll check you on the next video.